Hello, we got another mail day. It's gonna be a short day. I know this is a probably about, I think it's four CDs. I'm trying to do them more like shortened as I go. I don't wanna be like, save them up for the entire week. That way I'm not sitting here getting completely blasted out of my skull for 40 minutes or so. So cheers. This first shiny little bastard comes from Classy Lonnie. He uh, threw a bunch of uh, CDs up to, for sale because um, he uh, buying a new um, stereo rig. So wanted to kind of help with the costs. And uh, I jumped on it immediately. Like, I think I was probably one of the first people or first or second people to like, let me go ahead and buy this and uh, get my order in basically. So, uh, so, and I, I'm not sure if I actually <laughs> didn't own these or not. Also, he sent some uh, stickers, which that's awesome. I uh, appreciate that. I think I bought, I bought from him again before. Uh, the one that I'm not too sure if I had or not was this. This is Holder. This is uh, Die Operen von Mitzvus Duensnen. I think this is supposed to be the full length album. See, the reason I don't know is because, you know, the long ass fucking names. I, I do have the comp one, so I wasn't sure if this was. I couldn't remember. I mean, the cover arts are pretty similar, but I think this is the uh, newer one. Hell, let me open it up. I think it has all the details inside. So scattered about shit. Dark medieval, black metal. So one person band or one woman band on everything. I really enjoyed it. So this is the um this is the comp. So I do own this already. It just seems a little bit different than one I got so I already have it but it, since it was only six bucks no big deal to me I wanted to since I wasn't sure I didn't have the time to actually check to see if it was um, one I was on my phone because I got my uh, CD list on my PC so anyway then that means I shall pass the savings on to someone else for six bucks and in this next one, I don't believe I had gotten this one yet, but this is just Zubalba. Uh, Años Inferno. I do like some Zubalba. I like how they kind of start out as kind of more of a beat down hardcore band and has slowly kind of progressed to having a lot more uh, death metal, incantation, obituary type of uh, riffing and whatnot. Also, they went from a five-piece down to a three-piece. And I don't think I had this one. This one, I wasn't also sure if I had or not, because they had similar art on the last two albums, and I only had gotten one of them. So, hopefully, I don't have this one. So, that... <laughs> so, at the very least, I'll have one positive... Uh, you know, net income or net income for my CD list going up at least one, and then one for the sales. Ah. All right, and this next one comes from directly from a band. This is Xenos, X E N O S I S. I ordered. All their albums up on um, their band camp uh, last week I want to say or maybe it's two weeks ago I had listened to just one and yeah this is great great um, tech death like very interesting kind of reminds me of um, mortar to a degree like very well written songs this one is sowing the seeds of destruction I hadn't really listened to this one. This is the 2015 release. Um, no, I like the art. I, since I like listened to one, I'm just going to go ahead and, and I sampled a little bit off of it. It's like, okay, yeah, it, it wasn't like a 
vast change in quality, I guess you can say. It was still good, or just as good as the newer ship. So, got that one. This is the um, 2018 release, uh, Devour and Birth. Also, you know, very cool artwork. I do like their uh, artistic styles for this as well. And the one that drew me in to take a listen is Paralleled Existence. This is 2021. Somebody shared it on Facebook, had to check it out because I just really like the art. I'm like, yeah, let me fucking go fuck with that. Fantastic. Went ahead and ordered all three of their albums. And I guess that's about it. Don't have anything else. Uh, did an interview with Pan for uh, on um, the avant-garde group about my uh, record label with Speed Ritual. So if you want to go read that, I, I ramble on constantly about I just put out shit because I enjoy putting out shit and having physical copies of, I guess, a representation of my time. I have something to show for it. Um got a did a comp with all equip so i don't know when that's going to be dropping soon it's lined up another split uh not too much else has happened since monday i'm almost done with the um band i spoke about with um that i'm doing with pan um i can't pronounce the the name of the band because it's like ar um apostrophe bunch of random letters, apostrophe, R, uh, WR, or something like that. It's going to be weirdly, uh, weird shit. I only have one more drum track to do. I did the seven minute long song today. The other one is closer to six minutes. I'm going to knock that out tomorrow. Now be rap. Uh, start on uh, Psionic, Mad uh, yeah, Psionic Madness on uh, Saturday probably get a couple of tracks done with that. I already have finished one. That way we'll have a release later on this uh, year. Uh, Uzumaki is finally secured in where it's going to be released. It's going to come out on Vargeist. I think it's going to be a June or a July release. Maybe it's August. I, I don't know. Some around late summer from uh, Justin was trying to lay that all out for me and then uh inner sphere is going to come out on bar guys a little bit later i think may june something like that so got a bunch of fucking good shit coming out more uh yeah more vinyl more bullshit uh slog all the uh guitars and bass and everything's done i'm gonna start laying my vocals down maybe this weekend probably next i'm not done with writing my lyrics so I need a little bit more time. That way, when I start, I can just start and go. And, uh, yeah, whatever. Might drop another Ola Quip album this uh, weekend. I might not. I don't know. I already have four done in three weeks. But it doesn't hurt to do more. Cheers. <laughs>